Hello everyone, welcome back to another video where today we're going to be discussing the rampant speculation about the unit spin-off. Now I've just got to say, right off the bat, I'm 99.9999999999% sure that this is legit. Nicola Metvin from The Mirror has now reported that a unit spin-off is happening who has a great track record when it comes to these sorts of things. I've also myself heard rumours of unit spin-offs for a while, and now Deadline have also picked up on the story. We're not going to read both articles, but I'll read through the Mirror's report, and then we're going to go over some additional details that could indeed be accurate for this spin-off, as well as some new potential writers, and the latest edition of Doctor Who magazine, which is a special edition, celebrating the showrunners of Doctor Who. But before we get into it, if you could do me a teeny tiny little favour and click that subscribe button, it would be very much appreciated. We are trying to get 20,000 subscribers as quickly as possible, and we're just over 500 subscribers away. We're in the final stretch now, so any support would be greatly appreciated. I also have a Kofi, and I'm not going to lie to you guys, I've been financially struggling a little bit. I've been going through some personal stuff, and I've made it so that if you donate to the Kofi from now, anyone who donates £10 or more will be getting a shout out at the end of the video, as well as if you donate 50, which I know is a lot, you'll be able to pitch any video that's Doctor Who related and appropriate, and I will then make that video. But of course, only do that if you absolutely can and are absolutely able to. Obviously, there's no pressure whatsoever. It would just really help me out. But let's just get into this, shall we? Doctor Who bosses plan new spin-off show with Gemma Redgrave in starring role. This is again by Nicola Metvin, who is basically the Doctor Who reporter at the Mirror, known for her involvement in reporting on things like Jodie Whittaker and Chris Chibnall's departure before it happened, Ryan and Graham, or Bradley Walsh and Tosin Cole's departure before it happened, the Mary Shelley Cyberman episode for Series 12, and a whole host of other little details when it comes to Doctor Who production. So she has an exceedingly good track record, but Doctor Who fans are about to be whisked away into a parallel universe with another spin-off series from the hit sci-fi programme. The Torchwood-style offshoot will be based on a unit military research organisation introduced in the 1960s. Gemma Redgrave, 58, will star as the head of scientific research, Kate Stewart, a role she's played since 2012. Created by showrunner Russell T. Davis, the new series will be part of the expanded universe created by the BBC's deal with Disney Plus to take it worldwide. Unit, or Unified Intelligence Task Force, first appeared in 1968 under the sagging Doctor Patrick Troughton. The organisation which investigates paranormal and extraterrestrial threats to Earth got a fleeting mention in the 2005 reboot before becoming more key. Gemma, a member of the Redgrave acting dynasty, has starred alongside Matt Smith, Peter Capaldi and Jodie Whittaker. Kate and her team will return in a festive special introducing the 15th Doctor, Chusey Gatwa, 30, before the offshoot launches. A source said, Doctor has always featured strong women in positions of authority. A monster spin-off is also planned. It has emerged. Yeah, we've spoken about the monster spin-off before, but having Nicola Metvin once again reiterate that, it looks like at least two spin-offs are already in serious, you know, production, which is very exciting. There have been talks about creating a spin-off show featuring Unit since the 70s, but this came to nothing. However, Unit continued to appear throughout the John Pertwee years, from 1970 to 74, and also featured in a handful of stories with Tom Baker until 1981. After the reboot in 2005, the organisation was given a fleeting mention in Aliens of London with Christopher Rackleston, before being given a full return alongside David Tennant in the Sontaran stratagem in 2008. So yeah, we don't get too many details as to the plot of this. They do mention a parallel universe, but I'm not sure it's just, you know, weird wording on their part, or whether that's an intentional sort of suggestion that this will be taking place in some sort of parallel universe. Either way, this does line up with things that I've heard loads. I think we've, we've been speaking about a unit spin-off for a long, 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 long time now, but where this gets interesting is, like I said, The Mirror is not the only place to report on this. As I said, Deadline have now also reported on this, and when Deadline reports on something, there's normally something to it. Discussing Film then picked up on it following the source of Deadline, and now we have this. So, a good friend of mine on Twitter, MXTT said, Doctor Who's 60th tidbit number two. Despite what very little we've seen and heard about the three episodes, they'll serve a bigger purpose going into 2024 and 2025, with it also laying the foundations for the first currently unannounced Earth based spin off. So this was back in January, and now the unit spin off seems to be coming to fruition. And with this, 
He's given a bit more tidbits when it comes to the unit spin off. So I trust Matt here because he seems to have gotten the unit spin off dead on back in January. And this all seems to be accurate. And I've also heard some of the things that he also posits. So the unit spin off is still being written. It will be exact produced by Russell T. Davis, but like uh, Torchwood and SJA, he'll only write crucial episodes, including the pilot, still likely for winter 2024 after series 14 has aired its episodes, minus Christmas, obviously. Quite critically, its aim is to bring back existing characters that haven't been on air for some time, and bringing a certain someone from another corner of the universe. The most surprising there is Orisa Magambo, who will have a quite the significant promotion. So this is interesting, because I'd heard the two names, Gwen Cooper and Martha Jones, and now I'm seeing other people report on it. I had no idea about Orisa Magambo, though, but I had heard the names Martha Jones. Gwen Cooper, but I, I kind of assumed, you know, that they were just rumours, but now that I'm hearing multiple other people say, yeah, we've also heard this, I'm starting to believe it. Maybe you guys are going to say that I'm jumping the gun a bit here, but I don't know, this is all lining up for me quite strongly. And then the final thing they said was that, in fact, there's some new writers confirmed for series 14. Russell is writing episodes 1, 4, and 7, and 8. Sophia Petzl is writing episode three possibly, Moffat is writing episode five, likely other guest writers for two and six. Heard rumours of Gaiman and Gattis, but no confirmation on that. Neil Gaiman in particular would be hugely exciting for me, but I think Sophia Petzl, I'm not too familiar with her work, but it's nice to see a new writer in there, and obviously Russell is taking up the lion's share of the series, which we kind of assumed anyway. Moffat writing an episode, again, something else that's been reported by The Mirror, I don't know, I think a lot of this might have some weight. It's the fact that it's all been released with relative, you know, sort of, I guess, um, continuation with each other in that the Moffat rumour came out from the mirror and then after that, the unit spin-off is coming out. It seems like a big leak has happened to me because it's all sort of converging around the same time, I have to assume. And then finally, on the less speculative side of the, uh, the coin, we have Doctor Who Magazine Special 63, and additionally, on showrunners. Here you can see the cover, which looks very nice. So this is one of their special editions set to be released on the 16th of March, so tomorrow, and then following that in April we'll get our big follow-up magazine as well. So yeah, occasionally they'll do these special editions on certain topics. And what about showrunners is a really interesting idea, even though technically, you know, not to be a pedant. However, Verity Lambert wouldn't have been referred to a showrunner back then, but you know, I'm sure they're aware of that. But yeah, that about wraps up this video. Let me know what your thoughts are on anything we've discussed today. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below your thoughts, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you later.